Welcome back to No Limit Drag Racing 2.0, y'all. And in this video, we're actually going to be diving into a brand new update that I was caught completely off guard by. I had no idea that this was happening. And as I record this video, the update actually dropped yesterday. So if you haven't checked this update out yet, make sure you jump on No Limit and get your game updated and check it out because there are three brand new vehicles that I am definitely excited to dive into. Now, before we go any further, let's go over the three new vehicles before we do our first build. Now, the first new vehicle is going to be in the trucks category, and it's going to be the square body S10. Now, we already have, obviously, another version of the S10 in this game, which is, let me scroll over to it, it's this one, which we do see a fair amount of builds of, but... I would say in the truck category, a lot of people do tend to lean a little bit more to this. This is one of the most popular vehicles to build in the truck class in this game. However, I'm really excited to see what's going to become of this little thing. Now, if we move over to our next category, the next two vehicles that are brand new are going to be in the retro category. And if you go all the way to the end, they are this, the Catfish Camaro, which is a very very, very long-standing request to be added to this game, and I'm sure that there are tons of people that are absolutely over the moon right now that this car was added. And then the third edition, well, let's just say be prepared for about the next, I don't know, probably like at minimum the next three weeks for multiplayer lobbies to be overthrown by an onslaught of orange chargers um, because that's kind of what happens anytime this car gets added to just about any game. Um, it, it literally, it takes over for whatever reason. And I think they're either going to be all orange or they're going to be uh, Dom's Charger from Fast and Furious. For whatever reason, this car seems to, no matter what game it's added to, it seems to capture a specific part of that game's audience for a given amount of time. And it's just literally all dominated by this car. So we'll see if this car withstands the test of time in this game, but for now, I anticipate that there will be a massive, massive amount of people using it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and move on into our next build. Now for our very first build in this update, I did decide to go ahead and go with the Charger. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a Fast and Furious replica because one of the, one of the things that's cool about doing a Fast and Furious replica build is you can kind of take some liberty with the way you build it here and there so long as it's black and it's got that massive supercharger sticking out of the hood and chrome wheels you can kind of do just about whatever you want with it and I think that that's good because we will be able to kind of you know uh fine tune it to do as well as we can do in this game so I'm sure that the setup is not going to be perfect, but we're gonna get as close as we can by doing a sort of blind build. So let's go ahead and get it as upgraded as we can. And because we're doing a Fast and Furious replica build, we're going to go for a top mounted supercharger, a twin screw supercharger. So let's go ahead and get everything maxed out. Yep, ev everything, everything, yep. <laughs> oh my, well. I guess the, I guess the hood is too low for that particular air filter. Okay, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and upgrade the intake system all the way, and then oh, well, I guess it it was fine. We went we went ahead and installed the cutout hood anyway. So we'll go ahead and max out the supercharger. And hmm, what kind of format do we want to use? I love the velocity stacks, but at the same time, I think I. That looks wild. That looks absolutely nuts. I tell you what, though. Since it is a Fast and Furious replica build, we'll have the exhaust, I think, go out. Well, I mean, exit basically at the rear axle. I mean, I think that's fine. So now we can go back. Oh, wow. I mean, that's actually not too far off. So we're kind of getting fairly close to it. Six speed, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that all the way. Clutch, upgrade that all the way. Flywheel, upgrade that all the way. And then as far as suspension goes, we're going to upgrade everything in here. Front brakes, rear brakes, front suspension, rear suspension. Get all of that dialed in. And then the axle configuration is going to be maxed out and it's going to be a torque arm type. So let's go ahead and go back. 
And then now, let's see, we will upgrade the roll cage, the wheelie bar. Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit different from the way it is in the movies. Um, we're going to go ahead and put one on just for effectiveness, but you don't necessarily have to have it. And yes, it's not true to the movie car, but that's fine. I mean, we're kind of taking some liberties with the build anyway. So let's see. Weight transfer, upgrade that all the way. And I'll go ahead and put a parachute on the back because, you know, why not? So let's see. Computer, that's going to be... Well, we don't have nitrous tuning on it right now. Or rather, we don't have the nitrous itself. But if we do want the ability to tune it for nitrous, we have the computer there to do it. Let's go ahead and max out the launch computer, the fuel computer, the timing computer, and the boost tuning. So now that all that is done, we got to go ahead and dial in the tire size. And so I think what I'm going to do is we will do a 15 on the back. And we'll do probably a... I kind of want to do... I don't know if I want to go all the way up to a 35. I think I want to do like... Maybe like a, a 28. I mean, I know that that's not like big tire. But like 28.5 by 20... Eh, 21's really wide. I mean... I guess? I don't know. I mean, we'll give it a try. See what we could do. Um, how much does it go... How much does that grip go up if we go up to 35? I mean, I guess it doesn't... It doesn't alter the... You know, the supposed grip level. So, we'll try it. And we'll see what happens. So, let's go ahead and buy that setup. And then in the... I mean, that looks pretty sick, too. Although surprisingly it doesn't actually fill out the fenders all the way so let's try let's try going up to a 30 the 30 the 30 clips okay well that's kind of frustrating because the 20 hmm the 28 and a half looked like it was too small but the 30 clips that that's like a 29 we'll go with that for now and just kind of see how it see how it does see how it looks and then front wise let's see width is going to be like a six ish and we'll make these an 18. Well, we'll make them a 17. That's fine. And, okay, so that works. I mean, technically, we could make them ultra skinny, like a 2-0. But I don't want to do that. I want there to be at least a little bit of tire up there. So I'll do a 6. And I know that potentially that's going to cause more resistance on the front end. But I'm not really going to worry about that all too much. And now we can get into the visual aspect of the build. So into the customization... Let's see. So the hood itself, I'm just going to leave the cutout hood because that's kind of what we're working with. And then wheels-wise, the original movie car had chrome torque thrusts. I don't know if I want to do the chrome torque thrusts. I mean, I feel like depending on the level that you're building the car to, some people would say you need them and other people would say you don't. I'm going to go with a very modern like drag style wheel like this. And oh... Oh, that's a randomizer. Okay, never mind. That was not what I intended to do. Can I... Um... I keep clicking custom colors and it's not doing anything. I just want to do custom colors. I don't want to... Uh-oh. Rear wheel color? Um... Oh, you have to go into... Oh, that's annoying. I didn't realize you actually had to go into the paint shop to then do the real rear wheel customization. That's actually really frustrating. I don't really like that. I don't really care for how they do that. Okay, well, we'll do like a metallic beadlock ring. And then, let's see, the actual hoop of the wheel. We'll just do kind of a... We'll just do kind of like a chrome. And then we will also do the spokes, which ironically for this, turn out to be the barrel of the wheel in chrome as well. Again, kind of in the same vein as the movie car. So now we can go over to the front wheels and, well, you know what? While we're in there, we might as well go ahead and do the front wheels, even though, uh, even though the front wheels are not the style we're going to use yet. We're just going to make them chrome and we're going to buy that. Then we're going to go back into customization options and then we're going to actually select a front wheel style. Actually, these don't look bad. Those really don't look bad. They're actually a really good style for a build like this, too. So let's go ahead and throw those on there. 
And now, once again, we're going back in. The whole reason why I'm buying and then backing out and buying and then backing out and going back in is so I can save my work just in case the game crashes, which you all know that this game can do that sometimes. Really, any game can, but especially, you know, um, Offered Outlaws and No Limit Drag Racing 2.0. You just want to be careful uh, to make sure that you save your work. So let's see. The metallic black is exactly where we want to be with this thing. And let's see. I don't I don't think I like that. Um Oh. Yeah, we're going to go with the metallic black. Okay, so now the roll cage. I'm also going to black out the roll cage cuz I think a blacked out roll cage in a car like this looks amazing. And then as far as the grill and the bumper goes, I'm kind of back and forth. I think we're going to leave those alone for now. And what about blacked out trim? I think the blacked out trim looks sick. I think the blacked out trim looks really, really good. And then, let's see, tire smoke. I'm going to leave that alone for now because I'm not too worried about how that looks. And now, because again, this is a very simple build. It, like, the actual replica of this car is extremely simple to create. So now, we're just going to go into the performance tuning and get a setup put together and see how it does. Now, y'all are going to have to forgive me for being a tad rusty on tuning in this game. I did tune this car entirely myself, and I've got it down to around the 5.9 mark. Yes, I know that in the grand scheme of No Limit, that is slow. I understand that my comment section is probably going to be full of people that are going to be telling me how slow that is. But you know what? It's... Again, uh, it's been a little while since I have done my own setups in this game, and I decided to see what I could do, and we're going to see what happens when we try to run this thing online. We're probably going to lose, but that's okay. Uh, so let's see. I'm not going to do any tire restrictions, but I will do uh, prep surface only. So let's see what we can find. I, eh, I don't know. I didn't even read that one. It's a Viper. I mean... 32, 29, eh, it's not too bad. They're probably gonna beat me, but I don't know. It'll be fun, let's see what we can do. Like I said, the best I've run with this setup so far is only like a 5.9, so it's quite slow. And it's a lot slower than some of the other uh, vehicles that I have, which run like, you know, mid to low fives. But I don't know, we'll see what we can do. Race for fun, build is a work in progress. And... Oh, no! I spun and missed a gear. Wow, I spun and missed a gear. That was horrible. That was awful. And they're not even going to give me a chance to redo it. They left. They were like, oh, wow. Look how slow they are. I'm going to I'm gonna just leave. Like, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. That is horrible. Let me go over to one of the test and tune tracks real quick so we can see if we can run a 5.9 with this thing. I just want to see if it's actually doable on this setup or if I'm going to have to do a little bit more tweaking. Let's see. Because it didn't spin that bad into second gear when I tested it prior to jumping into multiplayer. And I know that some of the surfaces vary, but let's see what we can run. And... Come on. That was still bad. Yeah, that was still bad. We're going to have to spend some time. Oh, it's a 5.9, but like at least we're in the fives, but it's going to take a lot more work. So in the future, we are going to spend a lot of time working on the finer points of this build. At least it looks fairly close to the movie car. But if y'all enjoyed this first dive into the brand new update for No Limit Drag Racing 2.0, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time.